hello friends in this video let me show you how to fix the site cannot be raised issue the different sets of solution if the different sets of solution in this video do not fix your issue be sure to check the more solution in the video description or the comment section down below more videos with the different sets of solution so try lots of solution that i'm going to show you in this video first so let's begin very first thing that you can do you have a three dotted line in the corner click on more tools sorry guys click on settings here you have settings click on settings you have a three dash line click on the three dash line and then here you have advanced click on advanced here you have reset and clean up on the top at first do the clean up clean up your computer find the harmful software and then remove it go back click on reset to the original default click on reset settings this was the first common steps this might not fix your problem but sometimes it do the second step that you can follow second step that you can follow give a right click in your network icon and click on troubleshoot the problem so once you click on troubleshoot the problem it detects the problem and it fixes it even it will help you know what is exactly problem with your internet connection so troubleshooting the issue is the second step you can do third step that you can follow make a note of this command so it's chrome colon double slash flags slash make a note of it always watch the video in a full screen for clear visibility just make a note of it in the url section of your browser you going to type that come down just come a little bit down and here you're going to see experimental quick protocol so it is default you just need to disable it all right and then you can click on relaunch all right disable it and click on relaunch so this was the third step that you can follow in order to fix this issue If you have any problem you can go back to the same settings and you can just restore to the default or you can change it back to the default setting So the fourth step that you can follow it's very common go to the search and type cmd or you can type command prompt right click on it run as administrator click on yes and here you have command prompt as an administrator make a note of all these commands watch it in a full screen make a note of all these commands one by one you're going to type these commands in a command prompt be sure to hit enter after each command type the each commands and after typing each commands you're going to click on enter So one by one type the commands and press enter key. Finally, restart your computer once you finish typing all the command and pressing enter. Restart your computer and then you can check it. The problem like the site cannot be raised and several other common internet problems should be solved. The fourth step that you can follow. The fifth step that you can follow. Go to the search 
and type firewall once you type firewall you're going to click on check firewall status so you click on check firewall status click on turn windows defender firewall status on and off so click on it now you're going to turn off both the firewall if it is turned on for the public and private network do not keep it turned off for a longer time just check it if firewall is causing the problem turn it off and go back and check if your website is working now the site can be raised so if the site can't be raised issue is solved by turning off the firewall the firewall is the problem so this is the fifth step that you can follow disable the firewall and check it out the sixth step that you can follow my computer or this pc give a right click on it and click on manage in a few seconds you'll see this computer management here you have device click on device once you click on device you have to select the network adapter right what you need to do is you can see here is the network adapter give a right click on it and click on a scan for the hardware change all right click on a scan for the hardware change follow the steps for a couple of time or you can go to the properties so you do not have anything in the properties click on a scan for the hardware change for a couple of time you can update the driver disable it and enable it back again so better update the driver do not follow these steps it might be difficult for you to enable or install again if you uninstall it so if you are sure that you can install it again if you have a driver then only follow this step otherwise scan for the hardware change and update the driver you can do for all the network adapters scan for the hardware change and update the driver the sixth step that you can follow the seventh step that you can follow you just have to check your router obviously you have a modem or the router so your router that you have connected the router that you got from your internet service provider somewhere you're going to see the reset button in your router the small pin like reset button so reset your router so that is the seventh step that you can follow somewhere in the router you can check out at the back side or the front side in a side corner there must be a small where you can press the pin and you can reset your router this is the seventh step that you can follow eighth step that you can follow just make a note of this command okay in the url section of your browser just type it and then reset everything to the default in the new section you're going to search for chrome you're going to type download chrome you can download the chrome okay you can use some other network if you are not being able to access this website you can this network you can use some other network and you can download the chrome in your pen drive from your friend's computer you can download the chrome again from its official website and then you can install it so this is the eighth step that you can follow at first reset everything to the default by using this in the url section uninstall the chrome and then reinstall again so in order to uninstall go to the search and you're going to type run r u n open the run and you're going to type app wiz.cpl here it is make a note of it app wiz.cpl you're going to type it over here in run and then click on okay now you're going to select chrome from here 
select the Chrome, give a right click and uninstall or uninstall from here and you can download and install the Chrome back again. Be sure to reset it to default before you uninstall the Chrome. Even if you have a CCleaner, clean your computer, you can just use a CCleaner. You can clean your all the registry in a computer using a CCleaner and then you can uninstall and install back Chrome again. Eighth step that you can follow. The ninth step that you can follow. On the search, you can type for VPN Chrome extension. You can even you can search for free. Okay, guys. You have a lots of extension. You can open any one of these and you can add it to the Chrome and enable the VPN for the Chrome. Some of the website might be blocked in your region. You can access those website easily and you can fix the site cannot be reached problem. So guys, following all these nine steps, even you can go with the pro version of VPN. I've left the link in the video description. PIA or IP Vanish is one of the best. So following all these nine steps will definitely fix your problem like the site cannot be reached. Not only the site cannot be reached, it will finish, it will completely solve your all the internet problem along with the basic browser problem, websites problem, almost all the internet and browser problem will be fixed by following all these nine steps. So no more site cannot be reached. If the problem is from its owner side itself, site is not being accessed in any network in any device, you cannot do guys anything. That is the problem that they need to solve from their side. It's on our website. So they have a problem with their website. They have done something or they need to fix the problem. So guys, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you in the next video with another great stuff and great update. Have a good day. Catch you in the next video.